All right. Well, week six is in the history books. So now let's get with this review of uh, all the games that took place uh, this past week. And we'll give my week seven predictions. So here we go. We kicked it off with Thursday Night Football, and the Chargers upset the Broncos 21-13. to So the Broncos have lost two straight games in a row. And we'll go to the Sunday Night Games. Buffalo defeated the 49ers 45-16. to And Buffalo's like, what, in a four-game winning streak? Man, San Francisco... Oh, Chip Kelly. He's going to get fired. He sucks. Not as bad as the Browns, though, but they only had one win, and they've lost five in a row. I guarantee you by probably mid-season or towards the end of the season, or at the end of the season, uh, Chip Kelly's going to be let go. I'll bet you anything. Um, The Jaguars beat the Chicago Bears. Bears, 17-16. Um, wow. That's pretty much of an upset a little bit. Mm, maybe not, but... <coughs> Jacksonville, they're trying to win, and they're trying to get their act together. So, I'll give them that. Um, the Detroit Lions defeated the Los Angeles Rams 31-28. to um, That was a close game. That was pretty good. But Detroit pulled it off and won. Um, a big shocker. The Miami Dolphins upset the Steelers 30-15. to And Ben Roethlisberger got hurt in that game. Like, I don't know. It's like, the Steelers always like to... They always lose in these type of games. When they're the favorite, then they lose sometimes. Not all the time, but sometimes. Imagine them losing to the Browns. Hopefully I don't jinx it. Seriously, that would suck. Anyways. Um, New England defeated the Cincinnati Bengals 35-17. to And uh, that's not really a surprise to me. Um, the Patriots are the Patriots. What can you say? Um, a close game. The Saints defeated the Panthers 41-38. to yeah, the Panthers, they're not going to the playoffs. This team sucks. They really do. Um, the New York Giants beat the Baltimore Ravens 27-23. That was a close game. That really was a close game, but <laughs> Odell Beckham Jr., <laughs> after he scored that touchdown, man, he was, like, taking off his helmet, mouthing off to the officials, and mouthing off to everybody, and he's crazy. <laughs> The Titans defeated the Cleveland Browns 28-26. Not a surprise. What did I say? The Browns are the worst team in the NFL. Bar none, period. Um, this, this game. This is another bill, pill to swallow. Bill. Pill. The Redskins defeated my Philadelphia Eagles 27-20. This, this, this was bad. This was totally bad. And I'm just embarrassed of, you know, you know, I had all hopes for the Eagles to, by now, be 5-0. and oh. <coughs> And then the next week, I would have expected them to lose to the Vikings. I did say on my predictions video that, you know, um, two months ago, that they would lose to the Redskins in Washington. But they did. I don't know. They could pull off a win against the Vikings, but I doubt it, though. I seriously doubt it. But I don't know what's wrong with my team. Like, something, something has to change sooner or later. The Kansas City Chiefs defeated the Oakland Raiders 26-10, and the Raiders didn't show up. Um, I should have never called them the Fighting Raiders last week. Um, the Dallas Cowboys defeated the Green Bay Packers 30-16. to 
man, is Dak Prescott for real or not? They better keep him in, too, and not put in Tony Romo. If I was the Cowboys organization, I'm not a big fan of the Cowboys. It's just that it's common sense. Like, the only way I would put Romo in is if anything happened to Dak, Dak Prescott, if he got hurt. Just saying. You gotta, ooze that, you gotta have him ooze that confidence and keep rolling. The Seahawks put the fire out on the Atlanta Falcons 26-24. Yes, you heard what I said. The Seahawks put out the fire on the Atlanta Falcons. Because they were on fire for a while and now they had a tough game against the Seahawks and I thought Atlanta had a shot against the Seattle Seahawks, but you know they came close. They came close. Um, Sunday Night Football. The Houston Texans beat the Indianapolis Colts 26-23 in overtime. Didn't see the game. It must have been good. Whatever. Um, the Cardinals defeating the New York Jets 28-3. Oh, my God. Really? Like, oh, my God. <laughs> <coughs> Why would the Jets lose that way? They suck, the Jets. They're another terrible team. Maybe fire their head coach. Oh. Like, I don't know what to say about the Cardinals. Like, they were not in the groove for a while. Now, all of a sudden, they're starting to get a little bit into the groove. But, you know, they still got time to win a bunch of games. But, I don't know. Is it too little too late? I don't know. But the same thing goes with the Panthers, though. I know it's still early. We're heading towards midseason soon. But, I don't know. All right, let's get rolling with the uh, Week 7 picks. So we're going to start off with the Thursday night game. The Bears against the Packers. Um, I'm going to pick the Packers to win this one. So we get to another London game that will take place on NFL Network. They call it a special Thursday night football special. That doesn't make any sense. It's on Sunday. Why would you call it a Thursday night football special? I don't get that. That has got to be the stupidest name ever. I know I'm nitpicking, which I always do in my life. You guys are going to have to deal with it, but bear with me. But don't you agree, why would NFL Network calls it a Thursday night football special on Sunday morning? Stupid. Very stupid. All right, to the London game. The New York Giants and the Los Angeles Rams... We'll play in London. Um, <laughs> this is going to be a close one, to be honest. Uh, I guess the Giants. Why not? So we get to the 1 o'clock games. New Orleans Saints against the Chiefs. Um, I'm going to pick the Saints to win. They may pull off a victory against the Chiefs. But, you know, I don't know. The Indianapolis Colts against the Tennessee Titans. Um, I'm going to pick the Colts. I like their chances. Whoa. The Minnesota Vikings against the Philadelphia Eagles. There ain't no way we're going to win this game. I had a gut feeling. I should have trusted more of my gut feeling. and trust my instincts. And I refused to. And now I have to. My instincts said that by the time they play against the, uh, the Minnesota Vikings, they'd be 3-2. And, and they're 3-2. and two. I'm going to pick the Vikings to win. The Eagles are going to be 3-3. Three and three. And then when we play against Dallas, they'll probably be 3-4. and four. I don't know. It's just ridiculous the way the Eagles are playing. They should be 5-0 and oh right now. And I would have been okay with the Vikings beating us and ending our undefeated streak. <coughs> All right. So we got the Cleaver Browns against the Bengals. The Bengals. 
I'll bet you I, I'm going to make a prediction. I'll bet you anything, by the end of this year, the Cleaver Browns are going to be 0-16. and 16. Oh, yeah. I'm going to predict that. If anybody disagrees with me, tell me. Because the way they're playing, they suck. But I think they're going to be 0 and 16 by the end of the season. The Washington Redskins gets the Detroit Lions. Oh, this is going to be a tough game. This is going to be a tough game. I'm going to pick the Lions to win. I like their chances. The Oakland Raiders against the Jacksonville Jaguars. I'm going to pick the Raiders to win. Don't disappoint me this week. Um, the Buffalo Bills against the Miami Dolphins. I'm going to pick the Buffalo Bills to win. Continue that winning streak. The Baltimore Ravens against the New York Jets. I'm going to pick the Ravens to win. The Tampa Bay Buccaneers against the 49ers. I'm going to pick the Buccaneers because the 49ers suck and Chip Kelly's a lousy head coach. There you go. Um, the San Diego Chargers against the Atlanta Falcons. Um, oh, boy, this is going to be a tough one. Seahawks already put the fire out on Atlanta. But they may start the fire again, so why not? I'll pick the Falcons to win. Um, the New England Patriots go to Pittsburgh and play against the Steelers. Oh, my God. I don't even know if Ben Roethlisberger is going to play or not. It's just another day for New England. Just a W. End of the story. Um, the Seahawks against the Cardinals. Ooh, this is going to be tough. Sunday Night Football. I'm going to pick the Seahawks. They're in the groove now. Monday Night Football. The Houston Texans against the Denver Broncos. I'm going to pick the Broncos to win. I like their chances better than the Texans. So... That is about it on my week number seven predictions. Thank you so much for watching my video. Make sure to like this video. Subscribe today if you haven't. Uh, follow me on Twitter and uh, like me on Facebook. Links are down below the subscription box. I'm CJ Hawk 85 and I'll see you guys later.